A tremendous atmosphere for the start of this tenant Scottish Cup semi-final. And there are still hordes of supporters pouring into Hamden Park. Clearly they've been taken by surprise by this extremely prompt kickoff. Dov check playing it across to Paul Elliott, who provides width on the right for the moment. This is O'Neill. Griffin trying to play it beyond Paul McStay, he couldn't make that. Here's a problem for Millerwell. McStay and Miller breaking on the right. The early pass released. And Jerry Craney coming very close indeed. There's Griffin. Using Philippin. Philippin's in trouble. He had to recover very quickly as Coyne is about to break. Played in now for Craney is the chance for Celtic. And once again, the covering player is Nyholt. Played forward there by Griffin. Here's Ian Ferguson. Griffin making himself available on the outside. Well, Paul Elliott having the usual kind of problem for a much taller centre-half against the small striker. The little man burrowing into Elliott. Free kick this time goes to Celtic. Ball bouncing away from Griffin, played in by Miller. It's a very awkward one, and I hope making certain that came to no harm. Tommy Coyne didn't appear to relish the attentions there of Nyholt. Headed away there by White, there's Morris losing out to Ian Ferguson. Morris goes across to close him down. Neat play by Ferguson. Trying to play that into a gap for Angus. O'Donnell as well, there's Angus again, and Mother will have earned a corner kick. A little bit of slack defending there by Celtic initially, but Ian Ferguson combining with Angus and O'Donnell to earn that corner kick. There's McCart. Signalling at the corner of the penalty box. Philippin also has gone forward. Cart beaten by Elliott. And the shooting chance falling there to John Philippin, who is renowned for his awesome shooting power. So Pat Bonner's goal kick. Tommy Craig was on his feet below us there, indicating to his players they wanted the ball played on the ground. Certainly where Celtic are normally more menacing. Now well, Rogan testing the pace there of Boyd. Good play by Rogan, this is a chance for Celtic. Turn away by Maxwell. Well, powerful, quick play there by Anton Rogan. Yes, and Anton Rogan doing to Tom Boyd. But I'm sure Tom McLean thought Tom Boyd would be doing to Anton Rogan. Great determination. But when he gets in here, pick out a player. He tries a difficult one and Alistair Maxwell wasn't going to be caught out. Got a kick right to the edge of the area for Paul McStay to try that first-time effort. Rogan had time to bring that down. Challenge made by McCart, there's Collins, good play from Celtic, at the edge of the penalty area, and it's struck very firmly indeed by Joe Miller. Collins with the throw, this is Coyne. Played in again by Collins, it's headed away by O'Donnell. Right with that check. This is Miller. Queuing up at the far post there for Celtic. It's helped on there to White with a great chance now for Celtic. White gets a chance again. And it's stabbed just wide of the target by Tommy Coyne. And there's Rogan forcing his way forward again. Playing over that excellent ball. It's blocked by Maxwell. And Muller will have survived. Joe Miller almost turned that in. Well, this may turn out to be a vital save by Alistair Maxwell. Joe Miller coming in on the far post. Yes, this is the first real save that Alistair Maxwell's had to make of any description. He just gets his hands set to take the pace off it. And then it's Chris McCart who helps him out at the end. Good play there from Miller, using McStay inside. Trying to work the one-two with Coyne. And that's brilliantly saved once again by Alistair Maxwell. But Celtic now are in full cry. Miserable overhead conditions, and of course all that rain affecting the playing surface, putting a breeze new surface on the pitch, and that will certainly change things for the players. There's Derek White coming forward again, stopped well by Griffin, that was an excellent pass, into space for Arnott. Griffin is supporting his own pass. Ferguson is also up, 
still on it, he's brought down there and Muller will have the free kick, it was John Collins back to stop that Motherwell attack. Little bit rash here from John Collins, is he's not really going anywhere, and he's given away a free kick in a very dangerous situation. Well, Motherwell have their experts from this position, they have John Philippon who's very powerful, but I think for this purpose, more importantly, they have Ian Ferguson. I think the one they wish they had was sitting in our box just now, that's Davy Cooper. And there's Ferguson, was very well struck, it came off the wall, and Ian Ferguson complained that it came off an arm. Well, it's very, a kick though. Very ambitious and he's looking for an, an arm ball there, Jock. Philippon plays the ball forward, looking for Griffin. There to Guiana on the turn, was he held? The referee looks toward the linesman, clearly thought about a penalty kick and decided against. Well, what an interesting moment in the match and controversial one at that. Motherwell coming back again with Ian Ferguson. Getting over the long deep cross, going behind for the goal kick, but the Motherwell supporters behind Pat Bonner convinced that that might have been a penalty kick. Well, they certainly did, didn't they? And as it comes in here, certainly he turns them very, very well. And I think that there's certainly some physical contact there, Jock. Steve Kirk. The Motherwell super sub comes on. There's Ian Ferguson! Off the junction of the upright! What a magnificent effort from Ferguson! He's come within inches of giving Motherwell the lead. Well, I haven't seen many better balls struck better than that drop. Really beats Pat Bonner all ends up. And that most surely would have won the semi-final for Motherwell. Britain's in the clear on the left. This could be the last chance to win the match for Celtic in this match. Here goes Britain, getting away from McCart. who made an excellent recovery. There's Britain again, he's on the corner kick with a little bit of slackness which crept in for a second in the Motherwell defence. That's what allowed Jerry Britain to earn that corner kick. Yes, he did ever so well, a fresh pair of legs on, running at Motherwell defence, causing them problems. And you're right, just a couple of tired legs here in the back four. The corner kick taken, no, the referee has blown for the end of an incredible cup semi-final. There are warm handshakes all around out there in the middle. There is the final score, Motherwell's determined, organised play, earning them a replay against these waves of Celtic attacks. And there could be no argument from the commentary position the man of the match award has gone to Luke Nyholt, the Motherwell defender. The Dutchman was a hero, especially in the first half, when he was so heavily involved in the play. But it's Motherwell who will go through to fight all over again.